Welcome to the Boxing Gossip channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Thanks as ever for tuning in. As you can see, slightly different location today. Same exuberant taste in wallpaper. Um, quite a few people messaging me about Chisora Joe Joyce. This is a fight that appears to be headed our way on the David Hay Tony Bellew undercard. Um, the fight has been referenced on BoxRec as taking place, even though I'm unaware at present of any official announcement or official agreement. Um, I was actually sceptical that the fight would go ahead um, because of the Chisora side rather than the Joe Joyce side, but it sounds like David Hay has put a fairly attractive financial offer uh, forward uh, with Eddie Hearn as co-promoters for the Hay Bellew show for this to appear as a co-main event, and I certainly think that it would be a fight that would generate interest amongst um, the boxing public and get more people interested in the show so you know it doesn't surprise me if they are going to go to six figures to get Chisora versus Joyce on. Uh, from a Chisora perspective you know he was in a European title fight in his last fight to go from a European title fight to being used as an opponent for someone who's 3-0 is probably a questionable direction for his career and if Chisora was to lose in this fight and I assume Joe Joyce would start as a favourite with the bookmakers if Chisora were to lose in the fight um, you know you'd probably start seeing Chisora being used more as a, a journeyman type opponent for new prospects the likes of you know a Dubois or a Gorman or you know or someone of that nature so I guess for Derek Chisora it's a, a real big question in terms of whether or not he should take the fight based on what direction he wants his career to go in uh, and he's got to acknowledge that if he loses to a 3-0 prospect, the chances of him getting future fights with the likes of a Dillian White or even with a Ajit Kabayel at European title level are very, very low. So that's kind of why I was sceptical that the fight was going to happen. Uh, a lot of people seem to believe that it is going to get made. So I thought I'd discuss what I think would happen uh, in that case. Now, from a Joe Joyce perspective, Joyce's first performance against Ian Lewison was impressive for me. People gave him stick because you know he appeared slow, he appeared unathletic, and he took a few rounds to get Ian Lewison out of there. Um, but I was very, very impressed. And I actually think Joyce did a far better job on Ian Lewison than Dillian White did. Um, and you know, Dillian White is obviously a guy with far more professional experience um, than Joe Joyce, even though he obviously lacks Joyce's amateur pedigree. Um, in Joyce's two subsequent runouts, we've seen literally nothing. They've been such easy work, such quick stoppages. To be honest, from a development perspective and in terms of gauging where Joyce is at, they may as well not have happened. You know, Pretty much, I still think of Joe Joyce as a 1-0 prospect who's impressively seen off Ian Lewison on his debut. Um, now, Chisora, I do think, represents a step above Ian Lewison, but I don't think it's a, a huge step. You know, I think at this stage of his career... Uh, Derek Chisora now at 34 now having something like seven losses I think on his resume I think he is a beatable fighter and I think he is a fighter who's sowing a bit of sign of wear and tear and someone who is you know beginning to put in lesser performances again we've seen the Chisora weight start to expand and you know I appreciate he's having a run out on the Dillian White Lucas Brown undercard um, this week albeit presumably against a, a very very overmatched opponent um, but you just kind of start to wonder with Chisora whether we are very much in the autumn stage of his career. Joe Joyce, he's 32. He's only two years younger than Chisora. But looking at the two guys, you get the impression that Joyce is so much fresher. And yeah, that's really not a surprise given how many fights Chisora's had over the years. Um, you know, given the fact that he's had tough losses, you know, losses where he's taken quite a few hits. Uh, he's had a few fights that have been wars, like with the Dillian White fight, etc. Um, you know, so it's no surprise. With Chisora, I think my biggest problem with Chisora is he's a fighter who, at no stage throughout his career, has ever really adapted. He's never really done anything different. You know, at this stage, the blueprint on how to beat Chisora is very, very, very established. The weaknesses in the the weaknesses in the Chisora game are very, very, very established, and really he is a guy who can quite easily be outboxed outmaneuvered outjabbed and anyone who uses a bit of distance and a bit of range against Derek Chisora has the potential to cause him real real problems um you know he's still 
relies on those huge overhand hook punches from well outside of the pocket as a way of trying to get into range. You know, he kind of throws that huge looping right hand from the back of the hall and then charges in behind it into too close a range and smothers his work. Very, very, very easy to hit him with a jab, very easy to move around him. And looking at Joe Joyce, you know, whilst Joe Joyce is not as slick or as smooth as someone like an Ajit Kabayel or a Tyson Fury who's given him so many problems over the years, I do think Joe Joyce has vastly superior fundamentals to than Chisora. You know, if you watch that Ian Lewison fight, um, the jab, the punch selection, the, the sort of the boxing brain, choosing which punch to throw at which time, uh, I think Joyce just has a superior arsenal to Chisora. And I think Joyce also has that superior freshness. And I think when you combine the two, it's going to make it very, very hard for Chisora to remain victori uh, to emerge victorious in this fight. Um, Chisora has always been someone who, um, you know, for me, has overrated power. If you look at Chisora's knockouts, yes, he stopped Malik Scott in highly controversial circumstances. But, you know, who has he actually really knocked out in his professional career? Who are the best three wins Chisora has full stop? Who are the best three wins Chisora has by knockout? You know, it's kind of hard to to see him scoring knockouts against anyone of note. So he really isn't the biggest puncher out there. So... I do find it hard to give Chisora uh, too much of a salt in the fight. You know, the thing with Chisora is that style he brings of the pressure, closing down the distance, you know, imposing himself when you're on the inside. I think that is the kind of style that can make ultra fragile, ultra untested fighters crack. You know, someone like a David Price, I think he would panic if the distance was taken away from him. I think his stamina would start to sap immediately if uh, someone like Chisora was able to get so close to him and wrestle with him on the inside. Um, but someone like Joe Joyce, for me, whilst he hasn't maybe proven too much in the professional game so far, he just looks a bit more formidable. Um, you know, his debut win against Ian Lewis, as I've referenced, was impressive. He's obviously got the Olympic silver medal. He's obviously got the experience from the world boxing... Um, I've forgotten what it's called. Uh, is it WBS? You know, the, the sort of... Where he fought Usyk, you guys know what I'm talking about. Those fights uh, between amateur and pro, let's put it that way. So he's he's probably more experienced than he looks. He's obviously done a lot of top class sparring with the likes of Anthony Joshua, etc. And I I just think he's a a formidable guy. And I think looking at him, he looks to me like a guy who potentially will have some durability. I don't think he's just going to fold the second that Derek Chisora starts putting questions on him. Uh, I think, you know, he may have more experience than the average 3-0 pro with all of the, the amateur pedigree and, you know, the sparring he's done, etc. So, for me, whilst it is a huge step up, and whilst Derek Chisora is a very, very ambitious fight for a fourth professional fight, I actually think it's good timing. I don't think it's that risky matchmaking. And I think Joyce has a lot of obvious advantages over Chisora. And I think he's catching Chisora at the right time. Does Chisora have the boxing to defeat Joyce? No. Does Chisora have the power to take Joyce out? Not really. Um, yeah, for me, the only shout Chisora has in this is, is he the kind of guy who can pull Joyce into an absolute war and then stop Joyce late? Can he, you know, grind Joyce down, wear Joyce out of there, fatigue Joyce and get to a position where Joyce is you know, is not able to live with the pace in the latter rounds of a fight. And I, I'm deeply sceptical of that. I really am. First and foremost, Joyce seems like a very level-headed character. He's not like a Dillian White. He's not someone who's going to abandon his game to get sucked into a war. So I guess that's the first part. Um, but secondarily, you know, jo Joyce, for me, just isn't... He, he doesn't have the look of, like, a David Price, who's so fragile that he's just going to be ground down he always looks to me like a guy who's got a, a naturally very good engine and a guy who you know will be a 10 round and a 12 round fighter in, in due course there's also less doubts about him than the average prospect you know if Chisora fought the bois i'd be less confident that the bois would beat him you know that's not to say the bois is a worse prospect than joyce but just with joyce's olympic pedigree you know the experience he has the, the years and years he's had on the scene 
it just makes me think that he's going to have more smarts than the average 3 0 pro. And I think it's very tough work for Derek Chisora. You know, if the two guys fought, I could see Joe Joyce running out a competitive but clear points winner. Um, yeah, at this stage of Chisora's career, I wouldn't be amazed to see the, the sort of mid to late stoppage, although. I question whether Joyce will have the power to get a Chisora out of there. You know, Chisora is a very, very durable fighter even at this stage. Um, but I'm not one of these who gives Chisora too much of a chance. I actually don't see Chisora having the game and the game plan to beat a guy like Joe Joyce, who's got such a bright future ahead of him. Um, the problem with Chisora is we've seen loss after loss after loss. It's too late for me to believe that we can see adaptation and evolution and innovation in his game at this late stage. If we were going to see that... We'd have seen it quite some time ago. And, you know, Don Charles, not saying he's been a bad trainer for Derek Chisora, but he's never taught him how to throw punches differently. You know, it's, it's always been the same game plan. He's never had an answer to that boxer mover strategy. And I've lost faith that there will ever be an answer. So I'm going Joe Joyce. I'm not saying Joe Joyce is that boxer mover necessarily. I'm not saying that he's going to do what Kabayel did or what Fury did. Um... But I do think he'll have similar technical advantages over Chisora with his distance, with his jab, with his movement. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's my thoughts on it all in all. Let me know your take. Uh, leave your comments in the section below. If you've enjoyed this video, please take the time to hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel or you haven't done so before, um, please take the time to subscribe so you can check out all of my other stuff. Many thanks as always for tuning in.